once considered pure vandalism. The 1980s saw the general consensus on graffiti change, and since then lots of critically acclaimed artists have sprung up from the world of street art, including Banksy and Jean-Michel Bisquait. Here is amazing street art that is at another level. Number 15. Insane 51 Insane 51, who also goes by the name Stathis Savalius, is a 26-year-old Greek street artist who lives and works in Athens. He is known for his 3D street art, which has been blowing the minds of tourists to the Greek capital since he first began back in 2007. His technique is based on drawing two separate pictures, one of which is in red and the other in cyan. This results in a kind of double exposure which needs to be observed through a pair of 3D glasses. When you pop on a pair of these magic glasses, you are treated to Insane51's work of art in 3D, something which is known as anaglyph 3D art. In fact, if you close one eye, you can see the two individual pictures separately, one in red, one in cyan, and then when you look through both eyes, you get a full 3D version of both images. Pretty crazy. One of his most famous pieces allows you to see a wolf through one eye, and a girl through the other, and then a mashup of the two of them when you look at the art with both eyes. Many of his pieces have sold out, so you might just need to travel over to Greece to take a look for yourself. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This incredible street artist has achieved something truly incredible. As you can see from the two photos here, he has painted a chunk of the tree trunk to look like identical to the background directly behind the tree. Given his photorealistic style, this means that from a certain distance it appears as if the majority of the tree is hovering above the stump. It is a stunning optical illusion that gives an everyday tree an extra special magical look. The illustration is kind of ruined at night when of course it doesn't match, or if someone walks behind the tree, as they will briefly look like they've vanished, but we still think it's a pretty incredible achievement, and some of the most amazing street arts we've ever seen. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Raimundo Medina Artist Raimundo Medina is truly in touch with the culture of his native Mexico. One of the things that's most outstanding about Mexican culture is their relationship to death, which is much more complex than in a lot of other Western cultures where it's just hidden away as much as possible. In fact, Mexicans even celebrate death, and one of the biggest days of the year is known as the Day of the Dead. To celebrate this, Medina built a huge skeleton, which looks like it's pulling itself right out of the ground. He even added broken up bits of the road surface to give the impression the skeleton had just burst right through. Aside from that, the sculptures take influence from the common and popular styles of Day of the Dead trinkets and artworks that most Mexicans will be familiar with, such as the slightly cartoonish style of the skull. Indigenous Mexicans and those descended from European Catholics have mixed together to find find a way to celebrate deceased ancestors and loved ones in the coolest way possible. And Medina has added something truly unique to this whole celebration. Number 13. David Bowie David Bowie, the thin white duke, the man who fell to earth, Ziggy Stardust, his reincarnations are almost endless. And she looked up and saw it. It's the first time she's seen the moon, that it's registered. And even though the great man has now passed on to whatever strange realm musical space men go to when they die, he still lives on, not only through his music, but also through the mural, which has been installed by a collaboration between Spotify and the Brooklyn Museum in New York City's Broadway Lafayette subway station. In fact, the entire station has been subject to a Bowie takeover, as 400 archival objects are now on display. 
including show costumes, finals, photographs, and handwritten lyric sheets. The portraits are enormous and are placed on the steps leading up to the station, so you can walk over the face of the Starman now, if that's some weird thing on your bucket list. A lot of the memorabilia is New York oriented and reveals some of Bowie's favorite spots in a city he loved. You can even buy a Metro card featuring a portrait of the artist, which offers free entry into the exhibition at the Brooklyn Museum also. Number 12. M-City Kharkiv Mural Kharkiv is Ukraine's second largest city, and now it has entered the annals of global street art fame after a mural from the city was included in 2017's I Support Street Art Movement's picks of the best street art for that year. Other entries came from Europe, in America, Malaysia, India, the United Arab Emirates, China, and Australia. Incredibly, the mural takes up the side of an entire building, and was created by the famous Polish street artiste Mariusz Juarez, also known as M-City. Located at 79 Plekanivska Street, the mural was commissioned by the local city council for the International Festival Mural Fest 2017. We were really happy that Mariusz Juarez agreed to join our festival and came to our Kyiv. He created such an outstanding and inspiring artwork rather quickly despite nasty weather, said the festival organizer. M-City's work can be seen all over the world, in places such as Warsaw, Bansk, Berlin, Paris, Budapest, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Bolzano, London, and Prague. So if you are ever in one of these places, be sure to check out this street artist. Number 11. WD WD stands for Wild Drawing, and this street artist is heavily influenced by the world of comic books and graphic novels. WD was born in Bali, Indonesia, and adds some Eastern influence to his Western tastes to create a photorealistic style, which is best represented in his large mural pieces. Starting back in 2000, WD adopted the pretty familiar style of photorealistic graffiti art and has never looked back, now living in Athens, Greece. A lot of his work also also has political themes, and this has led to his work being included in some high-end and expensive street art photo books. WD says he loves street art for its freedom of expression, and that he is able to share his views and thoughts with as many people as possible. His favorite tools are the roller brush and can of spray paint, and he likes to think of his work as being partially about social phenomena, as well as being a part of the discussion about the reappropriation of public space. He has participated in shows in Europe, Asia, and the USA, and although he is devoted to street art, he has never stopped working in this studio also. Number 10. Tom Bob Street artist Tom Bob has become well-known on the streets of cities in New York and Massachusetts for his hilarious way of transforming everyday outdoor objects into cute scenes. Whether it's turning a set of pipes into some happy-looking lobsters, a manhole cover into a frying pan, or a propane tank into a tiger, Tom Bob has become instantly recognizable as a street artist, bringing joy to anyone who happens to cross one of his artworks as they go about their daily lives. The Northeast in Massachusetts, and in old, I was born in Old Whalingport in New Bedford. These street objects would otherwise be forgotten or unnoticed, but not the Tom Bob who has the vision to see monkeys at play where others might just see a bunch of old pipes. It just goes to show that public spaces can be fun, especially manhole covers, which seem to be among his favorite things to paint, turning them into Oreos, a compass, squash turtles, and what seems to be a doorway down to where the notorious New York alligators live, down in the murky New York City sewer system. Which, by the way, most people assume is a myth, but is in fact true. And one was even captured in 1935 by some boys who spotted it exiting the sewer. While an even crazier story in 1984 happened when people in Paris, France managed to capture a Nile crocodile in the city sewers. It now lives in the local zoo. Number 9. ROA ROA is a street artist who was born in 1976 in Ghent, Belgium. But his work has become famous throughout the world, having been exhibited in cities across Europe, the United States, Australia, Asia, New Zealand, and Africa. The focus of his art is wild animals and birds, which are native to whatever region he is painting in, and they are usually depicted with bright and vibrant colors. 
For example, in East London he painted a crane on a wall, due to the majority population of Bengali people in the city, who considered the crane to be sacred even though it is not native to Great Britain. He has also painted murals for the local people of Jerba in Tunisia, and a great chameleon on the walls of the city of Malaga in Spain. In his work in El Barrio, East Harlem, New York, he composed a whole menagerie of animals to wow the locals, who were reportedly very impressed with his work. Not everyone has been so enthusiastic, and sometimes city councils have tried to paint over his work when they have decided that it was done without permission. But often, local residents have campaigned to try and keep the works, usually successfully. Number 8. Nikita Nomers and the Living Wall Nikita Nomers is a native of the Russian city of Novgorod in western Russia. He has traveled all through the lesser known parts of Russia and taken advantage of the many abandoned buildings in these parts of the country to express his unique artistic vision. Nikita is a highly secretive artist, preferring to keep information about his life a secret. But he calls his work the living walls because he believes his art breathes life back into dying buildings. For example, Tower Man is the face of an old man man painted onto the side of a water tower, and his long gray beard twines down the length of the tower. Many of his works are seen as a comment on the Big Brother-style society we live in, with the feeling of being watched no matter what we do. And other works seem to show trapped souls never able to escape the scenes they have been painted into. Some of the faces are monstrous, with huge mouths filled with crooked teeth, almost like a warning to stay out of these dilapidated buildings, which probably isn't a bad idea given that they are probably halfway fallen down in some cases. Number 7. Gregor Wasik Gregor Wasik is a 3D street artist who was born in Poland, but who left his homeland and moved to Germany at the age of 29. Before arriving in Germany, Gregor mainly focused on painting canvases and drawing, but his arrival in Germany inspired him to take up street art as a new means of being able to express himself to a wider range of people than regular old art could ever allow him to meet. He works in a 3D style that is photorealistic. painting his favorite subjects on the sidewalks of German cities, including lizards, waterfalls, surfboards, and bottles of Jack Daniels. All of them use special perspective to give the appearance of being 3D works of art, which are of course highly Instagrammable, and this has contributed to his fame just as much as most of the other artists on our list. If you want to be a true artist, better make sure you create something that is selfie-friendly, that's for sure. He's also a record breaker, having contributed to the record attempt to create the largest ever outdoor 3D piece of art in London, and has since applied his technique to the streets of Moscow and for many advertising campaigns. Number 6. Risk the artist known as Risk was born as Kelly Gravel in Louisiana, to a family of Jewish origin. In 1983, the family moved to Los Angeles, and Risk enrolled in the high school there, quickly forming a new graffiti crew, which by 1985 had become known as WCA. Right away, Risk graduated from street art to Hollywood, soon working on music videos for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ice Cube, Bad Religion, and Michael Jackson. In 1983, he relocated to New York, so he could paint subway cars there in the time-honored tradition, although just one year later, the New York City Transit Authority banned subway cars from running if they had graffiti on them, which meant a lot of cleaning had to be done. Risk was one of the first people to write on freight trains and overpasses, which gained him notoriety back in the 1980s and today has led to him becoming a wealthy artist and fashion entrepreneur. But he hasn't slowed down in recent years, he made another music video, this time for Blink 182's 2018 album, and then went on the following year to paint Canada's largest ever mural. Number 5. J.C. Rowe J.C. Rowe is a street artist based in Long Beach, California. He is famous for a style which is considered to be dimensional and composed only of triangle shapes, but also it is known to be hyper-realistic and reduced futuristic. His favorite subjects are inspirational people, who he paints very frequently, as well as his favorite pair of sneakers, a pair of Nike Air Jordans. 
In fact, it's not just the sneakers, he's a huge fan of the man too. MJ was everything when I was young, and I was just past that age after you found out Santa wasn't real, and you're mad that Ninja Turtles are just dudes in costumes, or that Batman doesn't actually exist. But Jordan wasn't fiction. He was real and I was getting to see it with my own eyes. I guess he was my first hero as a kid that no one could take away or tell me was make-believe, he said in one interview. He is originally from Detroit, and his biggest success has been his impressive army of followers on Instagram, who cannot get enough of this street artist right now, it seems. Number 4. Adam Fu Adam Fu is known for something called glowing painting. His works are designed to trick the eye into believing they are seeing neon lights, when in reality it is nothing more than some simple paint skillfully applied. Using paint spray, he is able to create the characteristic glow that comes from neon, adding an unusual atmosphere to all of his works. That feeling is a kind of nostalgia for a time when neon light signs illuminated big cities in the age before LEDs took over everything. Adam's works are always created first on his iPad, but then he gets ready to scale them up to a full wall and to create his luminescent glow that he has become famous for. I'm a fast painter though, you know, I, I grew up painting at night time under you know, pressure. One part of the technique is using many shades of the same color, and it takes time to prepare these color shades before the actual work of spraying them can begin. He is a sweet artist through and through, explaining to one interviewer, My work always begins small. I always begin on paper or a napkin or the iPad, but it's meant to be outdoors. You know, my work, it came from the street, and ideally it should be on the street. So I think that having it in public, that's its most natural environment. Number 3. Sean Yoro Canada's Bay of Fundy is known as the place where the highest tides in the world make contact with land, and due to this natural phenomenon, we are able to witness a new piece of amazing art at the right time twice a day. Sean Yoro is known for painting his artworks in dangerous places like on the side of icebergs, high up in trees, and behind secluded waterfalls. But don't worry, he always uses eco-friendly paint. The tide changes at the bay can range by 28 feet, so Sean had some serious challenges to navigate while making this piece of art. One more thing is that, sadly, the canvas will one day vanish for the artwork. As the sea relentlessly erodes the surface he made it on, nature doesn't seem to care too much for art. Working on the lowest part of the wall was the biggest challenge, as this was the part which was covered by the tide first. So time was extremely limited, and Sean had to make sure he he knew the ebbing and flowing of the tide perfectly. Number 2. Kaifa Cosimo Kaifa Cosimo is an Italian artist based in the city of Milan, which has a pretty rich history of art already. But Cosimo isn't going to let that stop him. This is one artist who is just not satisfied with the regular two dimensions on offer with most paintings. He's going all out for three dimensions. These are interactive 3D pieces that people can really get up close to and enjoy. One of his most famous pieces is the series of giant people who look totally different depending on the angle they are viewed from. Stand in one place, they look completely normal, move somewhere else, and they are bizarre and deformed. His artworks, which include a man rolling on the crosswalk paint, another man hiding under a bridge, and a woman stitching some cloth to the sidewalk, are an Instagram sensation. So make sure you get your selfie next to one of these, because it seems like this is going to be one of the stars of the 21st century. Number 1. Leon Kier Leon Kier was born in the city of Utrecht, in the Netherlands, in 1980. He is known as a Dutch pop surrealist artist, and his artworks have become popular in cities throughout the world. You can find his works in Europe, the United States, Russia, Mexico, the United Arab Emirates, Australia, New Zealand, and several Asian countries. He is considered one of the leading artists in anamorphic street art. This kind of art relies on optical illusions to trick the viewer into thinking they are seeing something that they aren't. But Leon does not limit himself to spray paint. He is known to incorporate other things, such as augmented reality and video mapping, into his works. His works are often concerned with themes of social justice, politics, 
and the environment, which has led to popularity on social media and with many cities around the world hoping that he will come and paint on their buildings. Are these the best artworks that you've ever seen? What other artists do you know of who are at another level? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.